What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats and welcome to our Gulpa Ranking Series. We are counting down to the number one of the 2019 Gulpa Hats. When I reach number one, I will tell you guys which one minor league baseball deemed the champion. And I can already tell you it's none of the ones that I have in the top 30. So very disappointed in that. Uh, I'm not really sure what minor league baseball is looking for with their Gulpa designs or their Gulpa aspirations. But to me, uh, yeah, I, I don't I, I don't like what they chose. Uh, and I feel like uh, they bypassed a lot of great logos and a lot of great items that would represent the Hispanic community. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know here when we get to number one what minor league baseball said was number one for them. But before we get started, guys, always have to send out a big shout out to my Patreon members, Harley Mock, J38, MTS. Thank you so much for the, the additional support on Patreon. And of course, uh, Professor Hatter for the uh, super chats. Uh, if you guys ever want to check out my podcast, I do a Thursday podcast at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then on Friday or Saturday, we do a nice podcast called Baseball Beers and Bullshit. We usually do that at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's a late night podcast. So if you guys are interested in that, all you got to do is follow me on Instagram at Major League Hats. That's with the Z. That way you know when it will be coming on because I either do it on Friday or Saturday. Also, if you guys want to send out a little additional uh, support for the channel, if you like what I'm doing, you can become a Patreon member yourself. But also, I have become a partner with Hat Club. And if you use the link down in the description and you buy something through Hat Club, I will get a small little stipend back. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So thank you again to my Patreons. Thank you to Hat Club for the partnership. And I hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing. Without further ado, guys, let's get on to the Gulper ranking. Today we are going to show hats number 30 to 21. Hey, hey. Starting with number 30, but number 30 is the BAM! The Myrtle Beach Pelicans, also known as the Pelicanos, the Myrtle Beach. Uh, for me, uh, this isn't like, uh, you know, the best logo per se. This one really got this high in the ranking to me, and uh, you guys may not like it, but again, like I said previous, please let me know out of the hats that I'm showing you currently, what would be your order. Uh, but for me, I love the colors on the wings of the Pelican. It just looks really cool. You got a nice, uh, it looks like a red, orange, yellow, blue with some nice blue, light blue outlining on the Pelican. White, he's got his claws up, his little flipper. I don't know what the heck you call him. His feet. Uh, you got his Pelican nose, beak, mouth thing going on. And it's just, the details on it just actually look really cool. I actually had to order this one from the team store, if I remember right, because uh, they either didn't have it on Liz or they just sold out really quickly. I love it with the white paneling right there, a nice light blue color on the back end of the crown, nice light blue on the brim itself, black and black underneath. And then on the back, the minor league little guy is a white, blue, and yellow little guy. So check that out. So let me know what you guys think on the details. Like I said, to me, the colors are vibrant. They're nice. They're rainbow-ish. Uh, and I think, if anything, maybe just, I don't know, probably would have been too much. They could have easily, instead of like doubling up this like red or light orange, whatever this is supposed to be, maybe gone with like a little green color. I think that would have actually looked pretty cool, but not too bad. So let's try this one on. Yes, very, very nice. All right, you guys, coming in at number 29. Yes, we're getting in the 20s. So this is getting real excited. We're coming down to number one. But coming in at number 29 is, bam, the Margaritas the El Paso. Now, uh, unfortunately, this is actually a good representation of Hispanics, we love our tequila, we love our beer, and of course you have your margarita glass with the little salt line line coming all the way around the lip there on the margarita glass. You got your little lime sitting uh, in the margarita right there with his little umbrella. So he's got his little like mouth, like he's got like that cold sensation. Uh, I personally don't like tequila, but the rest of my family members do. So it is actually kind of like a good indication. I mean, every like, uh, 
nationality, they have their uh, alcohol that they like, you know, sake or vodka or something of that nature. Everybody likes their certain alcohol. So for uh, Hispanics, we love our beer, but we also love our tequila. You got that nice neon yellow on the back right here. The minor league little guy, he's kind of weird in a sense, only because the colors to me just don't work, but you got a nice neon yellow, a baby blue, and a white. Maybe they should have went with the lime green right there for the other part of the minor league little guy because since they have the green right here in the umbrella and his hands, there would have been a nice little change right there instead of having like a double neon yellow. So let me know what you guys think of that. The brim is a nice blue color, which... Uh, is the same color that they have highlighting the margarita glass and then it's a nice different like little baby blue right here with a little white tint right here to kind of give it that shadowy effect from the uh bottom or the yeah the bottom of the cup there so really cool uh, i like how they did the little salt lip around the margarita glass to um it, it really does look like there's salt it really does look like there's something on the lip to give it that 3d effect so really cool black and black underneath made in uh, probably china yes it is 100 poly ester so this one really good i think this one nailed it the only thing they could have did differently was put a bottle of tequila on it and uh that's probably the only thing they could have did so they did a really nice job coming in at number 28 is bam the Peñatas de Erie, and uh, this one is really cool because uh, I'm sure other cultures do it as well, but we love our piñatas for all the birthday parties for the little kids. We love getting the piñatas of all different characters and everything, and we love just taking a whack at it. Sometimes us drunk adults will take a whack at it as well because the kids just take way too long, and by that time, we just want our damn candy, but really cool piñata. So it's got that nice uh, baby blue right there. You got some orange, yellow, pink, yellow again so nice everything blended in on the eyelids you got the baby blue on the front and then on the back you have pink white panel right here pink blue i got a blue new era flag a light blue on the front here of the bill on the back a uh, little bit weird again i don't know why they did this they could have went with like a yellow or maybe even the orange but for the minor league little guy they went with the blue the black and the white so to me that is a little weird uh not sure why they went with black it, they didn't really need to go with black the only black on the uh pinata little guy is you know the black on the shadowing underneath his stomach here and the outlining of the tail and the body but they really didn't really need to go with the black concept right there so check out the rest of the logo did really nice black and black underneath 100 percent polyester made in china so love this one i think this one was a a well-deserved number 28 it did really good and the next one coming in at number 27 is BAM! It equals the Gwinnett, and I probably said that wrong, but it's spelled X O L O S, the Gwinnett. And uh, to me, overall, this thing is freaking awesome. I love the logo. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a coyote or a wild dog in general with the maracas in his mouth, so you'll have to let me know. But he's got a couple little maracas, little. <laughs> Whatever the instruments are called, I'm not really sure what they're called. I believe they're maracas because I just never played, you know, instruments really as a kid except for like a flute and a triangle. Yes, I'm that lame. So Hatter, you can bash me all you want, but we all can't play the trombone or whatever the heck people play. So got a nice, uh, it's not a red. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's a somewhat red color on the on the crown here. You got some red eyelets, uh, baby blue or a, a teal color with the button and the new era flag in the bill. On the back though, they did a pretty good job. Uh, even though it looks like more like a, a disfigured minor league little guy, and I'll show you in just a minute. But uh, you got the pink, a teal, and a white. But that minor league guy with that color combo just looks a little weak. Um, but the uh, I guess I don't know. He's a coyote or something, and uh, if he's a coyote, that's kind of weird. If you think about it in depth with Hispanics, coyotes, um, or a wild dog. So I love the Morocco designs itself. Um, that's why I gave it such a high ranking, just because I love the colors and I love the design. But uh, yeah, I'm really not sure what kind of dog that is, or if that is a dog. Like I said, could be a coyote. But not too bad. What do you guys think? Did I, did I rate that one in the right spot? What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think so far? Like I said, this was a really hard ranking system, but let's keep going. All right, the next one we have is BAM! The Gallos de, del Marva. And uh, for me, 
This one is a really cool one because Hispanic community, we, we do the rooster fighting. We do the chicken fights. And that's just the way it is. Uh, I've been to Mexico a number of times and I've been to a couple events. And uh, they're not really my cup of tea, but uh, for the Hispanic community, chicken fighting or rooster fighting, that is their hobby. That is their culture. That's what they like doing. It is what it is. So I, I feel like this is a good representation. I know here in the States, it's kind of frowned upon with the uh, chicken fights and you know but it still happens so it's just the way it is so anyways the logo itself is really cool because you got a really detailed rooster he's holding his baseball bat you got this like off red salmon color right here you got some nice yellow eyelets right here button yellow flag right there looks really good on the back they actually did a really cool uh logo with the minor league little guy with uh with the outlining of yellow and the minor league little guy yellow navy and teal check it out i actually like that a lot so i guess i could have ranked this higher but i feel like if i would have ranked this a little bit higher would have got a lot more controversy plus i feel like there are other ones that deserve to be higher than this but i think overall if uh, i was looking to get a good golpa hat i would definitely be picking up one of these if i was you nitty gritty time but here we go guys the next one we got is bam the san bernardos the salem this thing is just uh it's just another one of those that has that dia de los muertos uh, style look going on artistry so that's kind of why it got so high and the other concept about it why it got a high ranking is because the colors on the hat are freaking awesome this looks almost like a navy color because if you look at the bottom which is black this looks more like navy a nice red crown right here with the white red button navy new era flag and then on the back it's navy white and red so it looks really cool but for me this one just the colorway and the artistry just look really freaking awesome take a look at that what do you guys think uh if i had to buy you know one of these Copa hats from 2019 just because of artisticness of this logo you have to get it it has to be either and um for me i don't know if doing it like this if there's a lot more work involved but if there is they did an awesome job with the markings coming down the ears and the markings in the middle of the forehead with the eyes and then of course the facial area with the nose and the mouth just looks really freaking awesome what do you guys think about that let me know if uh you guys picked up the salem red Sox one because that's who this is i feel like this is really cool all right you guys coming in at number 24 is bam the valaros the Columbus, also known as the Columbus Fireflies. And uh, overall, it just looks really good. Cinco de Mayo type deal again with the artistry. It's got the cross bats on the back in the form of an X. You got a C right there. You got some seams coming down his face right there on each side. You got seams for a mouth. You got like a little flower right there in the middle of his chin. You got like this like sunflower thing going on, on the top of his forehead with this nice yellow outlining. And then in the baseball bat, you have some uh, black like shadowing with the red to kind of to give it that in-depthness of it. But it just looks really freaking awesome. You got this nice aqua green right here with the crown perfect on the colors. Only thing, of course, guys, they could have did something with the eyelets and made them with the red like they did with the button and the flag and the brim. I think that's the only thing they could have did differently. On the back, they have a nice yellow, red, and white minor league little guy. So this hat, like I said... <sighs> This is another good hat. And and I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot as we get, you know, down to number one. But I just feel like the hats that are in the top, you know, 30 and below, I feel like if you want a Copa hat, to me, these are the ones that you should be looking at a little bit harder and a little bit more into detail because the artistry on these freaking hats just really represent the Hispanic community. Now, I understand with the little evil eyes that this little guy has with those red eyeballs, he might be a little fearful, whatever, but, you know, for the other worthless, we do celebrate, uh, you know, the past. So, got to make sure you do that, and uh, that's what, it, to me, this is representing. We're celebrating the past. All right, coming in at number 23 is we got, bam, the Gatos Ferocia, the New Hampshire, or the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. And uh, the reason why this one got a high ranking is, one, I love the colors. Two, it's got that Aztec uh, sculpture thing going on. They didn't go with the Dia de los Muertos type style. They went more with the Aztecian statue-ness, if I say that 
because that looks like a statue of a cat with the yellow eyes and the little like white highlights right there but it just looks like a nice cool statue you got a nice yellow brim black crown I, I just wish if anything they would have went with the red eyelets or even yellow eyelets yellow button but they didn't they went black black on the side they got a red new air flag but then on the back they got a yellow white and red minor league little guy it's just like i said this one got higher in the ranks because they did something a little bit different to me they went more of the aztec -ian route so what do you guys think about that one i really like this one so it's really cool and i i feel like uh this is one of the few that uh is like in a league of its own in the sense that it didn't really try to do what the other ones try to do like there are tons of artisticness uh in the logos with the dios muertos style or an animal or an instrument so i feel like this one kind of did its own little thing all right you guys coming in at number 22 but we got bam the mercy lagos the louisville and uh for me uh, this isn't necessarily the uh, statue part as I was mentioning with the uh, Gatos Ferocious or the New Hampshire Fisher Cats, for me, this was more of the artistry that you might see like in temples of years past, you know, people writing, writing or drawing, um, I don't know, pictures on the wall, Aztec writing. So this wasn't the statue. To me, this was more of the artistry of the uh, signs that you might find in the cave. So really cool logo. It's all in a nice gold color. If anything, I should have ranked this a little higher now that I'm thinking about it. But like I said, this was a tough ranking system, but they did a great job matching this one up with the black crown, red eyelet, red button, red new air flag, red brim, nailed it for once and then on the back the only thing they could have did that would have been sick if they would have went with some gold outline instead of the white outlining uh to go with the red and the black and then of course black and black underneath so this one is really freaking cool the louisville bats did a really nice job i will say though for this being a seven and five eighths little tight but I would have to say this is probably the only one uh, that has probably been like the tightest. I don't know if it's just a bad batch or whatnot, but a lot of these has to been a good size so you can just get your normal size. I think you would be uh, comfortable getting your normal size. But as always, guys, if you guys feel like you need to move up a size because you guys kind of see that there's not a lot of room in my hat, then I recommend doing that. And also, it's always best if you could try it on in store just to make sure you have a good fit. But coming in at number 21 is, bam, the Pajaritos, the Norfolk. And uh, basically, it, it's a really nice one. So it's called like the Birds of Norfolk. Uh, you got like this uh, penguin type bird, or I don't really know what kind of bird. I'm gonna go with penguin. But he's carrying like an envelope that says suerte which means like good luck in spanish so that is really cool he's got his little sombrero hat he's got some nice teal outlining going around his whole body they did a really good job with the bird now i don't know if it's just me guys and i'll show you this in a second but it actually looks like it has number 22 in the eyes and i'm not sure if i'm just seeing things or what but check it out do you guys see the 2-2 and does that mean like any kind of good luck or anything in the hispanic uh, culture i'm not really sure but i do know that it does say good luck or luck on the envelope or on the piece of paper that he is holding so that's cool i like how they kind of went with the baltimore orioles color since it is a baltimore affiliate the white the orange and the black right there with the orange eyelets black new era flag and black orange and white minor league little guy so very good we are getting down there and this is getting intense but you guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up don't forget if you want to give me some extra support you can go to my patreon page the link will be down at the bottom and always thank you to hat club for becoming a partner with me and if you guys want to go to hat club follow the link down at the bottom buy something and i get a little something in return and you get an awesome hat all right, you guys, thanks for watching. This is Major League Hats, out. See you next time. Bye.